Jeff here. I have a 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro in new Terra color. Let's check out the off-roading tools and systems to help you get up hills. It can be for bigger hills. These systems are designed for huge challenges. I'm just gonna try it on something mediocre like this one just to show you how the systems work. I wish I could try it out on this. The features we're gonna talk about today, we're gonna to utilize this backup camera, forward camera. It's a multi-terrain monitor. We're also gonna show off the locking rear differential system and multi-terrain select, downhill assist control, and crawl control. As we walk around this Terra TRD Pro, I've been waiting to see it in person, and it's more of an orangish, burnt red terracotta brown. It really is just a natural looking vehicle, and it looks great against the walls, the dirt walls here, against this beautiful autumn background. Look at that, TRD Pro, technical camo on the fenders. How does the contrast look, the black with the Terra? This is wild. When I saw it in pictures, it doesn't look anything like you see in pictures. It actually is a lot better, I think. The video is gonna be about the off-roading systems and how to use them, how to put them into gear, that kind of stuff. But we do have to look at what TRD Pro looks like here. I love the Toyota badge right there. Very cool accent piece. 14 inch screen here with Toyota Audio Multimedia. Look at these beautiful seats here. Technical camo, you can see it below the main level, the layer, I should say. So we're gonna focus on TRD Pro and what it can do for you on the trails. We're gonna use these modes here and we're gonna use this right here and definitely this right here. And of course, naturally, we've gotta show you the back of the vehicle. So you can see just how much room, lots of headroom, lots of leg room for these particular ones. So let's look from the back and then we'll get started with our demo. Do you like how Tundra TRD Pro looks? And I'm not the biggest off-roader. I'll be the first to tell you that. I'm learning on days like today actually. So you might know a little bit more than me, but for right now, let's assume you don't know what multi-terrain select is. That allows you, based on the terrain you're driving on, to match it up so you can get the best traction. I'm gonna turn this dial a little bit here. We've got sand mode, mud, rock. Gosh, I don't know which one to choose here. We'll go with, I guess, sand, because it's dirt. No, we're gonna go with, I'm just gonna go with rock anyway. I wanna rock, rock. So what we'll do is we're gonna put it into gear like this, and then the multi-terrain select is gonna allow me to go up the hill. It's gonna tackle this thing. Actually, I got my foot off right now. So it can go up and give you the actual traction when I wanna go faster, just like this. I'm only going three miles an hour. It's like Will Smith says, two miles an hour, so everyone can see you. And look at this here. We can see what we've got over here, over here, so I certainly don't wanna be in that right now without a spotter. I wanna be on those rocks. So we can see in front of us, along the side, that's just super cool. And then our pitch and roll meter shows us where the real action is, what angle I'm at. So it's not as steep as hill. I'm not ever gonna say it is. And that's how we get up a hill in MTS. Locking rear differential locks both of the back wheels on that rear axle so they're both doing the same amount of work, the same revolutions. That way if one wheel is stuck, it's still doing work to get you out of the rut you might be in. Now if I didn't have on locky rear differential, if this hill was maybe a little bit bigger, I'm in this rut here, it's, this wheel's spinning, 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 spinning. This wheel's trying to do work, but with locky rear differential, ugh, it's doing work to get you up this hill. Gonna fly now. Gonna fly now. For this demo, I'm going to push locking rear differential. Got her locked in. A hill like this, it's not gonna be a problem. I just wanna show you like that. Gets up a hill just fine. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get it into four low. So we're gonna put it into low gear here. 
Now it's kicked in. So I'm gonna just put it into crawl mode so we can see how that works. And what it does is a low speed cruise control. So really I'm gonna focus on my steering. My foot's off the pedal and it's just climbing the hill. It's a lot quieter than last generation. So just kind of go up here naturally. And then we made it to the top of our hill, boom. Right now we're in four low. This is locking rear differential. It's over here. We'll just push this one like that. And I wanna show you what it looks like when I turn it on. Boom, there we go. You can see it right up here. Locking rear differential, so let's just get it started. And notice how the multi-terrain monitor also comes on exactly digital rear view mirror. We'll show that too. You could use that maybe. But anyway, we wanna use this one for sure, for sure. So you can see what it's like. Locking rear differential, going up the hill. Watch the pitch and roll meter. It's gonna go up. Might even go up on the side. And we made it to the top of the hill. What about if you put this in reverse? Reverse, 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 crisscross. So now we can see, remember we've got these over here. I don't wanna be anywhere near that. Toe mirrors, they might help me as well. But for right now, we're just gonna use this to back down. Cause I won't back down without my multi-terrain monitor. You can stand me at the top of the hill and eventually I'll come down. If you wanna switch between four high and four low, basically you put the system, it's in low right now, you can see up in the corner. We wanna get it to neutral position and then you can swap it to for high it takes a little while for the system to kick in and it kicked in just fine there so i do want to show you the multi-terrain monitor there we go while we're going up a different sort of hill like this one just so you can see what we've got on either side of us like this that would be a huge obstacle and we can see that we've got something that we want to avoid right here. So I just want to kind of show how the side one works and then backing down. We just want to keep it in the center here. We don't want to come anywhere close to the sides. So that's how you can utilize it on flat paths, up and down paths, when there's a rut, a divot, really crystal clear. So you can see things, especially trees that might be tight on either side of you. You can see those great camera system.